into this video which memory cards are the best, meaning fastest one or best price performance recommendations for the Fujifilm GFX100 Mark II. The GFX100 II is equipped with one CF Express Type B and SD memory card slot each. So you have the choice if you want to go with the really small tiny SD memory cards or the little bit more robust and definitely much faster CF Express memory cards. I would highly recommend to use the latter because they're much faster and you're generating a lot of data with the GFX100 II. So 100 megapixels and up to 8 frames per second and even if you don't shoot continuously which is absolutely fine because it's maybe more of a studio camera. Let's say at the end of the day you're ending up with, I don't know, 500 images, 500 images times roughly 70 to 100 megabyte per image with 100 megapixel. It's still a lot, so it saves you a lot of time once copying the files from your memory card to your PC Mac NAS whatsoever. So yeah, it's a better choice to go with CF Express directly. But which one? Fortunately, for us as customers at least, there's much more competition compared to five years ago and therefore lower prices. Nowadays it's even possible to buy a real good price performance CF Express Type B memory card for less money per gigabyte compared to a quite fast SD memory card, but not as fast as the CF Express card, so you're getting more speed for less money, which is always great. So let me start with my price performance recommendation, which is coming from Sabrent. Again, the Rocket 1800 megabyte per second series. This card as well is roughly in the region of 40, 45 cents per gigabyte, so it's absolutely fine. The GFX 102 is set up to the most amount of data we can produce, meaning it's uncompressed raw, no, not lossless compression, completely uncompressed and up to 8 frames per second. So that's as fast and as much data as it gets. And as you can hear, 8 frames per second and I could do so maybe not all day long, but at least until the memory card is filled up. Why? Because the bottleneck, and I know that sounds kind of funny, is actually the GFX 102. Yeah, it's a 100 megapixel camera, but just eight frames per second. So it's a great achievement technology-wise, but it's only 800, 900 megabytes per second. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of data, but not for modern CF Express memory cards, which can withhold one, one and a half gigabytes per second write speed, some of them also continuously. So it's not like idling around, but you get my point. It's not too fast for a CF Express Type B memory card, which is also, again, good for you because you don't have to buy the absolute fastest CF Express Type B memory cards, which may cost one and a half, two dollars per gigabyte. You can get it much, much cheaper. But there's another, even faster alternative for the Sabrent card, which is coming from Prograde, and that's no new gold 4.0 series. 4.0 stands for CF Express 4.0, which is even faster, more precisely, twice as fast as CF Express 2.0, which is used in the Sabrent card, for instance. Obviously, the camera is not made for CF Express 4.0, so there won't be any speed advantage here. And even if so, the camera would still be the bottleneck, but you can use card reader. Yeah, here he is, like this one from next storage. Yeah, now the camera is in focus, which is already ready for CF Express 4.0 which will achieve up to four gigabytes per second read speed. So let's say you're copying those files to your PC Mac with an internal SSD. You can almost double the speed. So, but let's also do a quick check here. And again, the bottleneck is the camera. So no speed advantage as already mentioned, but yeah, twice as fast when you're copying the files to your final destination. Let's say it like this. So that's really great, already finished. 
And yeah, I can already hear you saying, yeah, yeah, it's nice, twice as fast readout speed, but I really don't need it, especially if it doesn't impact the camera performance at all. But there's a nice addition and that there's the ProGrade card isn't even more expensive compared to other good price performance CF Express Type B cards like the Sabrent Rocket I showed you before. So therefore you can just buy a twice as fast PCI Express 4.0 card without paying any more money, which is a great price performance card nowadays. So my new recommendation for the GFX 102 is the ProGate Gold series. You find all cards mentioned and the card reader mentioned in this video in the image description and even more memory cards retested with the GFX 102 on our website memorycardlab.com. It's linked in the video description and I would really love to use the info card here because it's so much more convenient for you. Unfortunately, we have to hit a thousand subscribers threshold to activate that feature. So do yourself a favor, favor of course, not fever, and subscribe for the channel. Um, if you found this video helpful, maybe also leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.